Metro recently completed a new water treatment facility in Largo, Maryland, located at the end of the Blue and Silver Lines. This new state-of-the-art facility cleans water that is pumped out of the underground Metro Rail system to ensure the water meets the state of Maryland's discharge regulations as part of its Chesapeake Bay restoration plan. Throughout the Metro Rail system, 58 pumping stations operate to pump and treat approximately 1.4 million gallons of water per day. Water has to be removed because many of our tunnels run below groundwater levels, and to ensure safe Metro Rail operation, the tunnel system must be dry. Metro engineers and design staff worked hard to create a cutting-edge facility that sets the standard for sustainable development and is unlike anything else currently in the Metro system. Let's take a look at some of the building's new, environmentally friendly features. Solar panels on the roof power the operations, making it a net-zero facility, which means the building produces as much energy as it needs to perform the entire water treatment process. Metro's investment in its solar system greatly reduces the cost of running the facility and prevents an estimated three tons of carbon dioxide emissions each year. Instead of traditional high-energy water pumps, the new Largo facility features a gravity-fed water treatment system where mixing is performed using bubbles of compressed air to circulate the water. A vegetated green roof uses plants to filter pollutants from rainfall, absorb heat, and insulate the building, thereby reducing the energy needed to cool and heat the facility. And a rain garden utilizes native plants to address stormwater on the site and to remove pollutants from rainwater runoff. These environmentally friendly features demonstrate Metro's commitment to investing in sustainability, reducing energy consumption, and lowering operating costs.